There's definitely a certain feeling and an energy when you come into this racetrack. The moment you come in here, you can feel it. It demands respect. For me, I come here for the pure spectacle of racing. That's what I live for, to go after the, the, the greatest race in the world. It's something about history. And it's also destiny. You don't race slow. You don't race comfortable. You know, we do two football fields per second. So once you get above 200, you start to feel every mile per hour. You're feeling the turbulence of the wind. You know, you almost have to look absolutely out of control right at the absolute limit of the machine. To try to get your eyes to adjust to just how fast you're going, you, you just hope that nothing goes wrong, because if it does, there's very little time to ever react. And all of a sudden, the car that you thought was the best car you've ever driven has changed into a complete beast that wants to kill you. When you make a mistake on in an Indy car, it hurts. I think the first thing to do is not to think about it. We've got a car upside down. It's Marco Andretti. We don't sit down and think, if I crash, what's going to happen to me? You know, it's one of those things that you accept. If you're going to do this job, you're going to lay your life on the line and you know, put it all out there to win. It's the best job in the world. You know, what makes it worth taking the risk? Honestly, it's just the feel of victory. You can win this race, your name goes into the racing gods. So you feel like a superhero, and you become a legend. You know, I've been chasing this most of my racing life. It would definitely make my career. I feel that I have a great opportunity again to do something really special. Just gotta believe it. It's gonna be the guy who takes the most risk and is willing to end his race to get to the front. This is the only thing that matters to me. These other guys are trying to steal the one big opportunity in my career, and I'm not gonna let them have it.